remember that when a woman gets pregnant, for example, so, so normal cyclical estrogen could go up in the 400s and it would be perfectly normal. And she's still not estrogen dominant. Three weeks later, her estrogen can be 25 and she's still not estrogen dominant. Okay, so the, the, the point is it's not the level, it's the ratio. So the question is why does estrogen go up by tenfold when you get pregnant? Because one of the primary roles of estrogen is to bind water in the interstitial space. Mm. Estrogen is very good at retaining water. It will hold water. So I can't tell you how many women are like, Gary, I do not get it. Like I eat so clean, I exercise. Um, I'm watching my husband like wolf down pizza, like his life depends on it. Um, if I even glance at pizza, I, I gain weight. Why am I so fat? And I'm like, well, first of all, you're not fat. You're just retaining water. And you're retaining water in what's called the interstitial space, the space between cells. Nothing that you do will get rid of that water until you bring the estrogen back down into the right ratio. So a lot of women that are listening to this podcast, will, you know, especially really fit younger women will, will be really fit and they'll have a nice stomach and it will stop right at their belly button. And then they'll have a bubble below their belly button and it will move laterally around to their flanks and back behind, like, uh, behind their kidneys. So if they put their hands in their back pockets and pull their hands out, their palms would cover another area where they are holding water. They think they're fat, they're just retaining water. So now how do we get the estrogen back into ratio? There's three things that you can do. First of all, I would get a hormone panel done. Um, secondly, you can take something called DIM, D-I-M, methane. Can you take it even if you don't know if you're estrogen dominant or yes. no? That one I would take uh, DIM Pro from uh, Pure Encapsulations. Okay. Uh, DIM Pro. Um, and so what DIM will do is it will bind the, the, the bad girls, right? What's called the phytoestrogens. Right, and it, will, and it will bind the, the the bad girls that are holding onto the water, and it will get rid of the water. But nothing they do, they're going to diet, they're going to exercise, even it, it, they're going to have good sleep, and they're just going to be estrogen dominant. So they're going to be holding this water, retaining it in the interstitial space. Um, very often, it's diffuse, so they'll have like puffy face, puffy neck, puffy breasts, puffy flanks, like everything's kind of puffed up, um, and they know they're actually not eating you know, badly, they're, they're exercising semi-regularly, but they can't lose this water retention. So that's generally estrogen dominance. And the third is underfeeding. 